diff it's, it's different with the heavyweights because if I wanted to, and I used to do this, I can basically just eat whatever I want. But then you start realizing that's not optimal for a, for a world-class athlete to go and eat donuts and stuff. So I just try and keep it. I have the odd treat, obviously, but just try and keep it as clean as I can. I just try and keep it pretty basic. So I'll just go like chicken and rice, easy stuff like that. I like to go like carbs, veg, and protein every meal. They're not complicated, you know what I mean? A lot of people come, these other guys, they do have to complicate it a little bit because um, they need to watch the weight, but I don't really. So basic, 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 pretty boring. I'm the type of person I can just eat the same thing every day anyway. As long as I've eaten, I'm not really too bothered. So you just don't want to see me hungry because that's, that's not good for anybody. So go on, let's go. Did you ever cut to two or five? I think I, I was I was considering it at one point. I think I'm just too big, and I think it takes away a lot of um, my qualities, which are my speed and movement, and uh, the the light heavyweights are fast and agile and stuff like me. So I think I would it would actually take away my advantages fighting a light heavy self. Stick with heavyweight for now, see how it goes. But it's going good, so why would I change something if it's going good? My natural weight is like 250. It's 45 pounds, man. It's a lot of weight to, to come off. And I think the whole training camp would be about the getting the weight down as opposed to actually what I'm gonna do in the fight, so. Yeah, heavyweight's my division, man. And I'm getting older, I'm getting naturally bigger anyway. Getting more uh, developed and stuff, so yeah sticking at the heavyweight I woke up making money huh? I just woke up making money huh? yeah I woke up making money yeah I woke up making money you know what I mean I woke up making money yeah I just woke up making money huh? the kids might be listening in and my duty is I always defend the young ones from the old dumb ones and all their sleep friends declare man I live in the lion's den Work with the divine, always eager to stretch my mind At the same time, wake up all that blind Built like Bruder and Bob Marley on a hearty Handsome heartthrob, used to steal and rob Now I got a new job, a new gig Funk with y'all folks and flip your wigs Back to naps, this is no fun music I woke up making money now, what you think about that? I woke up making money now, what you think about that? I woke up making money now, what you think about that? I woke up making money now, what you think about that? I woke up making money now, woke up making money now 100, 400, 500, 600, 700 And it ain't even 12 o'clock stack, 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 I woke up making money now, look at my bank I woke up at a room now, check how I think You motherfuckers, your breath is insane My name is Mike Grundy and I've been training with Darren for probably 10 years or so now. Darren come across come across the team carbon as a Thai boxer, he was only a Thai boxer. But um, he come across, you know, to, to start mixed martial arts from when he finished his Thai boxing career. And um, I started coaching him wrestling. He took to it very quick, you know, he was very already a very aggressive, a natural athlete, good balance, and he took to wrestling very quick and, and that's really where I first met him. He started coming to my wrestling classes at Team Cabon and you know, going under Colin Aaron's wing really and wanting to get to the FC at that stage. What do you see on TV and what you see behind the media? That's exactly who Darren is in training and that's who Darren is in a day-to-day -day life, you know. So um, that's, that's who he is, you know, he's never changed. His most impressive attributes, he's got a brilliant fight IQ. I think that's his, that's his main thing really, obviously his striking is unbelievable but I think his fight IQ and how he reads a fight is, is unbelievable.
Just cause I'm a freak don't mean that we can hit the sheets Baby, I can see that you don't recognize me I'm Chuck G, the one who put the satin on your panties Never knew a hooker that could share me I get What's up, it. love? How you doing? Right. Well, I've been hanging, singing, trying to do my thing Oh, you heard that I was banging Your homegirl you went to school with That's cool, but did she tell you about her sister And your cousin thought it wasn't See, we can't